Okay, it's Kevin. I got another video for you guys. We're going to give you a little information on how to buy a wood burner, what type of wood burner, and when to buy the wood burner. Um, the, when you go to look for a wood burner, you want to look for a wood burner that has a blower on it. One thing you don't want to look for is like a potbelly stove. If you're going to be putting this in your house, you want to make sure that your stove is airtight. So, what I mean by airtight is you got to have a gasket around the door, you have to gasket around the ash pit. Um, you want to be able to shut the stove down so if it gets out of control, you can shut it down. It don't, it's not going to make any more heat, it's just going to shut down. So, gaskets is what you're looking for. Not a Franklin. You don't want a pot belly stove. You definitely want something. If you can get it with a blower, you want a sealed tight container, not cast iron. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit more about my stove and what I look for in a stove. Alright, this stove here has a glass door, which you don't need a glass door, but a glass door is pretty nice because then you can see what you're burning in there and how much hot coals you still have. And it has the gasket, as you can see, around the door. So I know when I close this door, it's airtight. Now you have to watch, I, my gasket up here on the glass, it's, it's getting a little worn, you can see it's getting tore up. Eventually I'll have to change it, but I don't have any air leaks yet. So I'm just going to leave it alone. When looking for a stove, I know you can go to Lowe's, you can go to these little stores, you can get the, the uh, stove that has a bottom in it, and it's all stone okay that's not letting any air come up through there so that's not a good thing I wouldn't want that stove I want a stove with a grate in it just like this you gotta have a grate and uh, we want an ash pit you can see we got an ash pit on this one and you want an ash pit ash pit is really good you can pull it out and dump your ashes out this comes right out it's just a tray slides in there catches your ashes and this one also has a door uh, a gasket around the bottom door which holds out air. This one's going to need changed here real shortly. I can see it's getting bad. I've changed the top one once. I haven't changed the bottom one. Okay. Now, another thing about the stove. If you're going to be burning a wood burner, you need one of these. That's a thermostat. That's a, for your stack. So when you're down here burning your stove, and you're adjusting these levers here to go high or low, that thing up there is going to respond to you turning this thing down here and that's so you can control your temperature on your stove you get it to where you're comfortable and you can leave it once you get used to your stove wherever you put it you'll know you know like when I go to bed I want it right there and I have another one on the other side over there I want to make sure this one is all the way up it's shut off uh, so that's a good thing having that gasket on there now, if you're cleaning this stove, say, I got some stone in the back are getting a little rough. You can see they're getting rough. That's not a big deal. But, like, if you're going to buy an, uh, a used stove, what you want to do is you want to look for warpage inside here. You want to look for any type of warpage on your metal and on your outside of your metal. Look for warpage. If you got warpage, you know that stove's been burnt pretty hot. Now, most, uh, stoves this is gonna be hard to do but uh, like mine cleaning the stack I can take a mirror if I don't want to climb up on that roof and I can actually see right up my stack up in there I can actually you can see daylight up in there small mirror pretty nice now if I put a flashlight on there I'd be able to check it out a lot better you can see the damper up in there flopping back and forth okay now after you get your stove you want to look and it'll have on the back of the stove and you'll see a, a thing back here there's a chart and it'll tell you how far it'll tell you how far you can have it away from the wall you definitely don't want to get it any closer than what it says on here and then the same way with your stack when you buy your stack to go through the ceiling It'll tell you. I think mine's two inches to combustibles when it goes up through there, which is uh, pretty good. I didn't, don't have any problem with it. Now, a damper. I have one up here. Um, 
that I can shut down if I have to. Then I also have a, a sort of a damper here. What this does is when I push this in, all the heat from back here, it closes this piece off back in here. It closes it off and all the heat has to come up and go through here. So it's sort of like a smoke shelf. So it kind of holds the heat in there. So that's a good thing to have too if you can find one with something like that on it. But like I said, most stoves, you know, you go out, if you're going to buy one in, say, the uh, winter months, you're going to pay a lot more money for it. If you buy a stove in the summer months and you're going to buy a used one, look on Craigslist or your uh, local ads or something, you probably get a better deal in the summer. I don't... I, Everything I usually buy is in the opposite. Like if I want to buy a boat, I buy it in the winter. I want to buy a motorcycle, I buy it in the winter. I want to buy a wood burner, I'm going to buy it in July or August. When nobody wants them around. That's the best time to buy a stove. So, that's a look at the stove. My stove. Don't forget, you don't want a cast iron stove in your house. I don't, unless you just want it for looks. I don't think I'd put it inside my house. Now my first stove I had in here, I actually had a Franklin stove in here and uh, we'd be sitting in the living room and all of a sudden we'd see a, a spark fly out the side and uh, that's definitely not good in your house so that's why I ended up looking for something like this. I worked in a, fire, a chimney and fireplace store for a while so I know a little bit about wood burners and that's definitely a no-no, the Franklin or the pot belly unless you have all concrete or something you don't have to worry about catching on fire. This stove here, it's a really good safe stove. It's, I've had it for quite a few years. We build a little hearth on the bottom in case we drop something out here, uh, like a log or something, something ashes or something when you're emptying it. It'll drop on here. Now you can buy a fireproof rug. It can go out in the front, which will help you even more in case a log actually rolls clean out onto the ground and, or onto the floor. And it has happened to be before. So, don't say it won't, because it will. Um, I don't know much more to tell you, but if you guys have any questions or anything, leave me a comment or uh, whatever you want there. That'll be fine. I'll try to answer what questions I can. I want to tell everybody thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Until next time.